What's going on, buddy? My name is Arvlin, so welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, we are checking out Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 Recap. It's basically what it is. And I reacted to the first one, which I thought was going to have some hidden lore implications, but no, it just ended up being a whole recap of the events of Chapter 1. And since I reacted to that video, I feel like I should continue reacting to the rest of the recap videos as they come out. And that's exactly what we're doing today. So we're going to be checking out uh, the Chapter 2 stories, the story so far. And this came out a couple of weeks ago, but like I said, I've been in the middle of other stuff, so I haven't been able to get down and really sit down to really record a bunch of videos at once. So today I'm going to change that by recording to a bunch of videos at once, and this is one of them today. So I don't know what else really to say other than I hope we're, I'm quite curious as to where uh, Poppy Playtime will end, because we're only three chapters in. I think they're going to, they might be going to chapter five. I will have to re- check that because I have no idea what chapter four is going to be like and chapter three just came out earlier this year so we could be like another year or so down the line before we get chapter four but other than that I don't know what else to really say as I continue playing down this story of Poppy Playtime and with that big said we're going to get right into this video in three two one shabang playtime pro security log zero one Two, six, unscheduled transit access in game station. With Poppy out of her case, she began to guide the intruder <coughs> through the office of Elliot Ludwig. How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began when Poppy in the fateful year of 19. There was little protest. <laughs> I'd like to pay you back. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. Why it's so easy? Listen, hey, hey, you're copying the arbiter. <laughs> I'm going to need you to trust me. <coughs> the train All right, I can't rid of this cough. into another section of the facility, the game station. It was here the intruder met another of Playtime's creations. A new play. I'm Mommy. Mommy Longlegs. In some ways, the game station had been hers. And so, I mean, yeah. with two trespassers in a... Alright, sorry about that. Let's continue. Mommy Longlegs. In some ways, the game station had been hers. I mean, technically, so, yeah. With two trespassers in her reach, she saw fit to make a game of Poppy and her friend. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your <coughs> insides while you're still alive. You know what? I actually still don't have any Poppy Playtime related merchandise. Last year at Comic Con, New York Comic Con, I entered a competition to get a six foot tall uh, huggy wuggy. Just just out of the blue, just to see if I would get it. Obviously, I didn't win it because it would be in the background. But I just wanted to see whether or not it would happen. But I still need to get some Poppy Playtime related merchandise. At least a plushie or two of the characters. I've been looking at the catnap one that's currently on the market that I think last I checked isn't out yet. But I'll definitely be getting it because right, as of right now, uh, Catnip is currently my favorite uh, public playtime villain. Like the most devoted and serious one we've actually encountered. I'm not saying that Mummy, Mom, Mummy Longlegs and Huggy Wuggy aren't serious, but in terms of like what kind of dangerous threat they truly pose to the player, he is definitely at the list, at the top of it. First stop was Musical Memory, a cognitive test. Simple, but a useful metric for us. Next was Wacka Wuggy, primarily concerned with reaction times. How those small ones always scurry and swamp. The ex employee mm. made their way to the third and final game, but not before running into a familiar silhouette. This experiment, Kissy Missy, Kissy Missy, had a calmer, more cautious demeanor. 
She even helped Aunt Truda pass through the halls. At the last game, over a dozen legs and a long winding body slinked behind our trespasser. When they came face to face with Mommy Longlegs, though, there was nothing left but anger. Yeah, her calm demeanor was gone. And here's the. Are they gonna show What's it? Left of her. Oh, they didn't show it. Good. Now. And inside a control room far above the game. I think that was still well, probably one of the most brutal uh, deaths I've seen in a while in a video game. It's still one of the most brutal deaths I've seen. Station. <clears throat> they were reunited with Poppy. I'll board the train. We need to leave. They entered the Her demeanor just completely changes. And the old engine began to stir. The path leading out seemed clear. And yet, something unforeseen happened. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. It has long been the custom of those who call this factory home to use others for personal gain, to stab them in the back. Yeah. I'm certain it came to Poppy naturally. Okay, so as I said in the beginning, this was just a recap, but I wanted to continue reacting to them as I had already reacted to the first one. But if you want to see my uh, fully fledged reactions to each of the chapters explained to me, I suggest you go check out those videos. They're in my Zelfrin's reaction playlist. Go check them out. Because I, because I originally intended when I first heard of Poppy Playtime, I originally intended to record the game series with my brother, but we never got the chance to really sit down and, you know talk about it more so since we never brought it up again i decided to just react to puppet playtime from this point onward because there was an original intention to play the games but that never you know manifested uh but we did manage to play uh project playtime with a couple friend with my brother and a friend of ours in that series we were playing that played it uh around the time of launch and it was probably one of the very few horror, uh, horror games that were hide-and-seek related types. Kind of like Dead by, Dead by Daylight, where you have to go rebuild the generators. But in Poppy Playtime, it's a little bit different. It was one of the very few games I picked for us that we all genuinely had fun with. <laughs> and I think if I get them all together, we'll probably play it again. Because I know we haven't really played it together since launch. So, it's because we all got distracted with our own things going on. Me having ankle surgery, my brother working on YouTube, and John, he was working on his own things as well at home. Um, so, we all just kind of like got distracted and we just never picked up uh, Project Playtime again. But I'll ask them again uh, if they want to play it again. Because we haven't played it in forever, basically since around launch. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction video too. Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, the story so far. And I'll be right to the next one when the events for Chapter 3 come out. And like I said, if you want to see my, all my reactions to the previous Poppy Playtime uh, story recap videos, the, like the ones by Super Horror, Bro, Super Horror Bro, go check them out. They're in the Zelfrint Reaction playlist. They're more towards the beginning, like around Reactions 200 or so. That's when they start. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next reaction video. Bye!